Hi, welcome back to Bearded Honey Badger. So, I got a challenge uh, the other day from a friend of mine, and uh, it was to show how you make coffee. Well, this is how we make coffee on the trail. We have some other options, but um, normally we'll use jet boil, we use this little percolator, and uh, we'll uh, grind some fresh beans. So today we're going to use uh, some Morning Rise Overland Blend from our friends at uh, 410 Expedition and uh, Double Head Coffee in Alberta. So uh, that's what we're using. And uh, we'll get started. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take some of these uh, beans, move that out of the way, and we're going to use this Kitchen Pro hand grinder, just a two-piece container at the bottom and a grinder on the top. You can adjust the uh, coarseness of the grind here with this knob. So we have it set for what we like. And uh, take some of this awesome coffee. And I'll just pour some of those beans right in there. There we go. Seal that back up for later. Save this for when I'm out on the trail, so I always have a good selection of coffee. So we've got the beans in there, we put the lid on, and then we're just going to grind away. It doesn't take very long, and you get that taste of fresh ground coffee. It's awfully really nice in the morning. And just sort of move it around so the beans don't get stuck. done and we've got a little sight glass that you can see you can see the fresh whoop, you can see the fresh ground coffee sitting in there so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this and this is a little aluminum cook pot oh, aluminum is probably not the safest thing to use I guess long term but uh, it cooks quickly and heats up quickly and works really well so we have two options we can either use jet boil like we got set up here or we can actually use this directly over the fire um, so all you do for that is you take this pot, you put the water in this part of the pot, you put it over the fire or on the jet boil, you heat it up, boil the water, and then uh, you're gonna pour it through this into the uh, craft. So at the bottom here, we're gonna open this up and we're gonna take the uh, coffee grounds and we're gonna pour the grounds in there. So the more grounds you put in, of course, the uh, stronger it's gonna be. And you're just going to close that up and turn it upside down right there in the uh, craft. So instead of using this to boil the water today, uh, we're going to use our dip oil. It'll be a lot faster. So all we're going to do is we're going to turn the gas on. Get that jet oil kicked off. And uh, in about a minute, we'll have coffee. And we're back. So the uh, coffee, well, the water anyway, is uh, done boiling. Let it cool down for a second. And I'm gonna unscrew my uh, gas canister from my jet boil because it tends to leak past and uh, don't want to be wasting my fuel. So all we do now is we uh, take the coffee. And like I said, this can be done two ways. This can be done using the boiler, or you can just pour directly through the filter here. And let's let that drain through. Put that over there. See, fresh coffee coming through there. Takes it a little bit of time to percolate down through there, but I'll show you what it looks like here. Water is just filtering through there. And the other side, we're going to end up with coffee. Check it. This is classic drip coffee. Basically, it's just running through the uh, filter and creating the coffee at the bottom. Add a little bit more water here. Okay. 
wait for that to run through. Then we'll uh, pour that. You need to drink it right out of there. So just remove the filter and drink it right out of the coffee cup if you don't have to uh, bring an extra mug. I like to use these Yeti uh, tumblers because uh, they're insulated and they hold uh, heat for a long time. So you can drink coffee while you're sitting around the campfire or you make coffee in the morning while you're packing up and it stays uh, pretty nice and hot. Uh, this aluminum does get hot, so something to consider. Put that in the boiler and, uh, and voila, you have coffee. So, you just take that and you can pour it right into your coffee cup. And uh, you're good to go for the day. So, that's how I make coffee on the uh, trail in camp. If I'm backpacking, it might be just boiled water at Starbucks via, but uh, more on the tailgate in the camp, that's how we do it. And that's how we make coffee at Bearded Honey Badger Overland. So now for the challenge part. So I'm gonna challenge some friends of mine. First, I'd like to challenge my buddy Cappy. You know who you are, Cappy, 410 Expedition. And I wanna challenge the guys over at uh, Devil Heads Coffee. Let's see how you guys uh, make coffee in the bush. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Take care.